So today we're going to talk about paint stripping and this is not nearly as fun as talking about just like stripping, but it's still fun. It's exciting for me. Uh, so this is the tool that I'm using to strip the paint. This is not a sponsored post and I want to make that very clear. That's why I'm not telling you the name of the tool. If you want to know the name of the tool, you can DM me. Look, I think this tool is obscenely expensive. <laughs> I feel like it's overpriced for what it does. And that's why I've never bought one before. Um, we just stripped all the, the vinyl siding off of the house that we actually live in. And we took all the paint off of it, the old paint off of it. We stripped it by hand. I thought about buying one then, but because that was an exterior job, I just could not justify the expense of this tool. But here in this house, we have a plethora of paint removal to do. Like it's, a, it's, it's, it's outrageous how much paint removal we have to do. We're going to try to strip the paint off of all the interior doors, um, off of the, the back side of the front door. And I'm going to strip this entire newel post, the spindles, the banister. Um, and the guy that's going to refinish all of these for us will not touch anything that has lead paint on it. And we know that the woodwork in the house has lead paint on it. Look, I'm probably cooking it right now. So I wanted to look at the safest way to remove lead paint. You guys know that lead paint is an issue. It's a huge deal. We hear about it all the time. And I think people are hypersensitive, hyper scared about the lead paint situation. But there are two times that lead paint is really, really dangerous. The first time that lead paint becomes dangerous is if it is dust. So if I were to sand this and then breathe those dust particles, it's very, very dangerous. Then if it becomes vapor, if it's vaporized, the vaporization point of lead paint is 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 532 degrees Celsius. So heat guns, standard heat guns that heat up to, you know, anywhere from 1,200 to 1,500 to 2,000 degrees are going to vaporize that lead. And so if you're not wearing full protective gear when you're, when you're stripping the paint, you're going to be inhaling those lead fumes that are very dangerous. Another problem with standard heat guns, especially on an interior application that kind of freaked me out, is there's a real chance of fire. They get so hot that if you leave it on your wood just a little bit too long, you can catch it on fire. Um, if you're using them on exterior applications and you're doing lap siding, if you're doing it in that, that area, you can actually get little sparks that will get in the little embers that will get in between part of your clapboard and can cause a house fire. So I'm really uncomfortable using a heat gun. I don't like to do it unless I'm doing it in a very controlled environment, like I'm stripping doors and I'm doing it outside on some salt horses. Okay, sure. But I still have to wear a respirator. And I really didn't want to do that um, the whole time I'm stripping paint in this house because it's going to be a weeks long process that we're going to have to undertake. And you know, we're having to wear masks enough right now as it is. I don't want to have to do one <laughs> when I'm doing these projects in my house alone. I'm seriously, I'm alone in this 5,200 square foot house, which no reason for me to have a mask on. So for this project, I did invest in an ultrasonic paint removal tool. What makes this different? What makes this special is that it's ultrasonic and its highest temperature that it gets to, if I use it correctly, is only about two to 300 degrees on the paint. So nowhere near hot enough to get that lead paint to a vaporized level, but hot enough to cause all these layers of old paint to bubble up and for me to be able to remove those safely. Now, if you decide that you do not want to invest in the ultrasonic paint stripper, which I do not blame you at all, again, it is very expensive. Go on the website and buy this stripping tool. I've been using it all day. Can you see the way that it's shaped? I hope you can. This is the, it looks like the Star Trek Federation and blow. Beat me up, Scotty. <laughs> Random thoughts by Lane. This is the best stripping tool I've ever used in my life. And when I spent the fortune to buy this, and then they made me buy this separately, I'm going to be honest with you, I was highly annoyed. I was highly annoyed that I had to pay like 30 extra dollars or maybe 40 extra dollars for the stripping tool. Best money ever. Like, legitimately the best money I've ever spent on 
a restoration tool, a stripping tool. <laughs> I love it. I will never be without this tool. And when the blade gets dull, I will sharpen it. And when it cannot sharpen it anymore, I will buy more blades. So I highly recommend this tool, but I kind of wanted to show you what this paint stripper does. And I hope you can see. So you just hold it at your paint site for, you hold it about two inches off the paint. It says two to three seconds, but it also says long enough that the paint begins to bubble and smoke. So my paint's starting to bubble and smoke. Run that down there, and we are down. You can't really tell probably there. I'll scoot the camera up, but we're down to bare wood already. Do it again. Bubble and smoke, bubble and smoke. Boil, boil, toil and travel. Let's scrape it off. Now, the guys who are like real pros with this tool have this system perfected where they like heat and strip and heat and strip and heat and strip, and it's like one beautiful emotion. I don't have that down yet. I'm gonna get my technique down. But right now, I'm telling you, I hate chemical strippers. Um, they make a mess. I have never really had a lot of luck with a chemical stripper because they, even the organic strippers, so they make a lot of mess and then they tend to open the grain of your wood a little bit. Anytime you put a liquid on wood, it's gonna open the grain. And you're gonna lose a little bit of the beautiful finish that you have on antique wood. Part of what makes antique wood so gorgeous is that tight, tight, tight grain and the smooth wear patterns that you have in the finish. And you lose that when you apply chemical strippers and then mineral spirits um, because it's liquid. And when you put liquid on wood, it's gonna open the grain up a little bit. So I like this process better for that reason. It's one of the reasons that I do like a heat gun when I use one is because you could um, get that paint off without opening up the grain of the wood and causing that kind of irregular surface that you see when you do chemical strippers. Anyway, so I'm going to give you a couple close-up shots of this and then I'm going to give you a time lapse of stripping the paint off the old post so you can see really how simple this tool makes it and how quickly you can create, you can complete a task that would have taken Oh, so much time if I was doing sanding or chemical stripping. So let's get some close-up shots and a time lapse and see how it goes. Bubble and smoke. Scrape it off. So easy. So easy. Look, you can already see that beautiful wood grain coming through. Look at that. So simple. I mean, it's really easy. I'm not applying hardly any pressure. And we're seeing the wood grain on this beautiful mill post for the first time probably in, I mean, it's probably been painted for like 70 years. So, and look, nobody, nobody at me about not wearing a mask. I know there are some of you who are like so terrified of lead paint and I get that. It is a danger. Um, but my house, my rules, I don't want to wear a mask because this is not getting hot enough to vaporize the lead. So I'm choosing not to. If I die, if I'm in the hospital and you guys read about me and you're like, oh no, she's in the hospital dying from lead, then you can say you told me so. But in this application, one of the reasons I chose this tool is so I don't have to mask up. Coming right off. Look at that. Man, that is awesome. Maybe it is worth the money, y'all. Most expensive tool I own, and I own all the tools, but sure is making this job easier. Because that's kind of all you can see. Um, 
This is great, y'all. <laughs> it's already cool enough that I can touch it. I mean, it's like warm. I can tell there is heat applied, but it's, it's nowhere near what it would have been with a heat gun. I mean, with a heat gun, this would have been, I would not have been able to touch this for a long time. Wood does conduct heat, obviously. It's what it makes fire out of. So, um, it, I really, this is, you know, I went on that rant about how this tool is too expensive. But that may be the best money I've ever spent on a tool. I got to tell you, this the entire thing that you just watched was like maybe three minutes, five at the most. Um, and the hardest part was that I had to stand up and my wrist is a little bit sore from driving a scraper. I'm going to have to go back and do some of these spots where some of the lead paint is down in the groove. Um, but I mean, that's not going to be a big deal. That's a light sanding. I can take care of that. This beautiful newel post that's been covered up with at least three coats of paint over the last 70 years is going to look like brand new pretty soon and this disaster of a house is going to look like brand new pretty soon well brand new um 150 years ago how about that so i'm really 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 pleased with the job that this is going to do i'm going to stick around and do a little bit more i'm going to try to post some pictures later of what she looks like when she's naked for the first time in a hundred years uh, so you guys can really see what this tool can do. Doesn't smell bad. Couldn't smell anything. Um, doesn't didn't burn me with my gloves on. No mess. I'm just gonna have to clean up this paint down here on the floor, but I can do that and then dispose of it safely. We will wrap this up, double bag it, tape it, dispose of it safely. Um, I get this two thumbs way way up. Oh, I'm so excited! Now I can strip everything in the house. Mind you, I said strip everything in the house, not strip in the house. There's a big difference between those two. But I think this is going to be awesome. Awesome. Thanks, guys.